Okay, and th uh, this is going to be two uh, examples uh, from from our uh, lesson in, in class. Um, uh, this is number four. It says, find the volume of the solid bounded by uh, y equals 4 plus 2x minus x squared uh, and y equals 4 minus x. And uh, we're going to go ahead and revolve that around the x-axis and then uh, part b will revolve around the y axis, uh, not the y axis, but y equals 1. So first thing we got to do is figure out kind of our uh, bounds and so we need to know where these two functions intersect because they don't tell us the x bounds. So we'll go ahead and solve that. Um, so it says one side equal to zero and then that gives us x equals zero and three is where these two graphs intersect. Okay, so we'll put in the line and the parabola and we're going to rotate around the x-axis. Uh, representative uh, rectangles will be perpendicular to the axis of revolution, uh, so they will be vertical, perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, and then to find our radii, um, our outer radius starts from our axis of revolution and hits the outer edge of the figure, so our figure is that, uh, um, I guess, kind of crescent-looking thing, or maybe half a pizza or whatever. So that comes up, hits the outer edge, and that's going to be the parabola portion, so our outer radius is 4 plus 2x minus x squared. Our inner radius hits the, uh, the edge there, and that is the line uh, 4 minus x and we're going to do the, um, so we're going to have a, a gap here, so this is a disk method. Okay, so our volume is going to be equal to pi. Limits are 0 to 3, we're integrating with respect to x. Our functions are in, it in terms of x. Okay, so outer radius squared, 4 plus 2x uh, minus x squared, quantity squared, minus 4 minus x uh, squared. Okay, and uh, mostly this is just tedious integration, so we're going to have to expand the 4 plus 2x minus x squared quantity squared and the minus 4 minus x squared. I guess you could factor it as a different square of squares. That would be another option. Anyways, um, all right, so that's going to be 0 to 3. Um, and after doing that, we have x to the 4th minus 4x cubed uh, minus 4x squared plus 16x plus 16. So that's the first part. And the second part is minus 16 plus, 8 plus 8x and minus x squared after we distribute the negative sign, okay? Um, we'll combine our like terms, pi, integral from 0 to 3, x to the 4th, minus 4x cubed, minus 5x squared, and plus 24x after combining our like terms. So we'll go ahead and go on to the next page because we're at real estate here. So go ahead and uh, redraw, rewrite, and integrate. And so we pretty much just need to do the power rule. So x to the fifth over 5 uh, minus x to the fourth minus 5 thirds x cubed plus 12x squared. And we're going to evaluate that from 0 to 3. And that's going to be equal to uh, 96.133. And then uh, we could say uh, square units or units squared or whatever. No, not units squared. Units cubed because we're talking about volume. Okay. Uh, part B, we're going to uh, rotate it around the horizontal line y equals 1. So again, we'll do a rough sketch to kind of help us out here. All right, there's y equals 1, and that's what we're going to rotate around. And uh, so we're going to follow the same process. So we're going to find the distance from the uh, axis of revolution to the outer edge of our figure, which is going to be the parabola. And then we're going to have to subtract a 1 because the parabola is going to tell us the distance from here down to um, the uh, x-axis so we want to remove uh, 1 there. Okay, So let's take all that off. There we go. So 4 plus 2x minus x squared and then minus 1. So it's going to give us 3 plus 2x uh, minus x squared and then this is also going to be a, uh, a disk method because we have a gap between the uh, figure and um, the uh, axis of revolution. Okay, the inner radius will be from the axis of revolution to the edge of the figure. So there it is. So that's going to be the line. Uh, subtract one. So that'll be three minus x. Volume is equal to pi. Integral from zero to three. Outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. Okay. 
and so it's it's routine integration from here uh, you'll have to go ahead and expand so pi is 0 to 3 uh, x to the fourth minus 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 12x plus 9 minus 9 plus 6x and minus x squared dx and combine those like terms x to the fourth minus 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus 18x dx and we'll go ahead and go on to the next page to finish up this routine integration so all the way there okay so we got pi x to the fifth over five minus x to the fourth minus x cubed plus nine x squared evaluate that from zero to three and that is approximately sixty seven point eight two eight five eight uh, and this would be units cubed. Okay, so we'll go ahead and look at one other uh, example here. Again, one of the big keys for doing any of this stuff uh, is to draw a, a fairly accurate picture. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, so we can get a sense of you know where things are at, which the outer radius, what's the inner radius, um, is there some sort of distance between the figure and the axis of revolution. Okay. Um, so number five, we're going to set up and rotate the region bounded by x equals zero, x equals eight, uh, y equals the square root of x, and y equals uh, negative one half x plus four. So we may want to know where these graphs intersect. We are given bounds, but we might want to see uh, where those uh, actually in, in, uh, intersect each other, and uh, actually by inspection it looks like 4 is going to be where they intersect so we can we can go ahead and use that to our advantage so they're going to intersect at 4 and uh, we're going to go ahead and rotate around the uh, x-axis so we'll draw in the eyebrow we'll draw in the line and also they intersect before 2 Okay. so there, we're going to need two integrals so we'll do R, R, big R1 and then little r1, big r2, and little r2 just for the, the, the two integrals, integral 1, integral 2. Okay, so big radius for the first part is going to be from the distance from the uh, uh, what we're rotating around, which is the x-axis, and that's going to hit the line. Okay, and then the inner radius is going to be the eyebrow. Okay, and then this this is our figure that we are going to revolve around the x-axis. Okay, so our volume is going to be pi, integral from 0 to 4, outer radius squared, minus inner radius squared. Okay, then we're going to do the second integral, which will be pi, 4 to 8, and then we have to figure out what the outer radius is. And that's going to be the eyebrow this time. The inner radius is going to be the line, so they're just reversed. And so then this is the, the figure that we're looking here. So we're going to rotate this piece around the x-axis. Again, it's a, it's a disk because we, we have a gap there. Okay, so square root of x squared minus negative one-half x plus four uh, squared dx. Okay, from here it's mostly algebra, a little bit of routine integration. It's, it's a little bit messy, but we'll go ahead and write that all out. And uh, we'll go through and get stuff integrated. Okay, so pi and then negative two thirds, negative one half x plus four quantity squared minus x squared over two. And we're going to evaluate that from zero to four. And I did use a little bit of a, uh, I cheated a little bit when I integrated here. So I have a negative one half x plus four squared dx u is negative one half x plus four du is equal to negative one half dx so we don't have that negative one half so we're going to uh, put it in there and then offset and so this would be negative two u squared du and so that'd be negative two u cubed over three so that's where that negative uh, two-thirds is coming from if you're wondering so uh, I did use that um, to kind of help myself out with the integration I, uh, I, I probably could have done 
some other tricks on the other one, but I, this one works uh, better here because this is a little bit simpler in, integral here. Okay. All right, so do the same trick on the other one. Okay, and now it's just plug and chug. Uh, plug in your uh, plug in your limits, work it out, um, and we'll see what we got going on here. So we got negative two thirds. Apply, and then uh, it'll give us negative sixteen thirds minus eight plus one hundred and twenty eight over three plus thirty two minus eight uh, minus sixteen thirds. Uh, and then if you get a common denominator, it works out to something uh, fairly nice of 48 pi. Okay, uh, so that is it for this video.